What is happening, YouTube? It is Antar, and I am back with a new black and white battle. Uh, this is a friend battle against uh, Hazard Pokemon, who's a really cool guy I met on AAXZAT, also known as Aber's Asylum. And uh, so, yeah, this was the last of many, many battles that I had this day, and it was a really nice note to end on because it was a really good match. So, anyway, um, this is using my Chuck team, which is the first team I developed for black and white. And I finally get to lead with my uh, Gardevoir lead, which is great, because I just haven't had the opportunity before. And so Gardevoir successfully scares away his Notori, uh, also known as Flarethorn, and he switches into Jirachi. Um, so I use Magic Coat, but he wasn't even attacking, so it doesn't do anything. So I just keep on Magic Coating, because I've seen Jirachis use Stealth Rock before, and I'm just not sure what's going to happen. So Jirachi goes ahead and U-turns for the super effective hit. Um, but it doesn't do that much. Well, I mean, it does about half. But I get some Steel Thorns damage off him, and that's really nice. And my red card ejects him, and so this is good because I ne didn't actually know what would happen in this case. And I asked him later, uh, or actually during the battle since we had uh, a chat window open, I asked him what happened there, whether he got to choose the Pokemon to switch out or what, and he said, no, 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 just uh, Ferrothorn was brought in um, the same way as if he hadn't used U-Turn. But so anyway, that's kind of nice, and he decides that he's not going to switch out, and he told me later that he had no idea what um, Magic Coat does, so that's why he set up Stealth Rock on me. Actually, he didn't tell me later, he asked uh, once he saw me use Magic Coat for the first time what it did, and as soon as he attacked, I said, you're about to see. And I said, it does that. And so he's like, oh man, that sucks. And so you're noticing that I'm just going to, I'm keeping magic coding here because he's expecting me to stop. And so he just keeps on throwing rocks at me and I just keep bouncing them right back because my team hates rocks. Um, you know, think about it. I've got one sturdy Pokemon. I've got two Pokemon who are weak to stealth rock. And I've got one Pokemon with multi-scale who, if he's not at full health, doesn't do him any good. Actually, I think it's a hurt. Doesn't matter. But the point is, I'm just going to keep magic coding. And, you know, at this point in the chat, he's like, dude, come on, seriously? And I tell him, I hate rocks. I hate rocks on this team. And so he goes ahead and gyro balls me. And so I'm wondering whether he's given up. And I think, you know, the safe move is to keep on, um, keep on keeping on with the uh, magic code until he KOs me. But I'm not sure that I actually want to do that. And so I go ahead and use Healing Wish because I figure this is the best of both worlds. Um, if he attacked me, then waste a turn for him. Uh, if he didn't attack me and he goes ahead and uses Stealth Rocks, then Healing Wish will heal uh, on the switch. Which, now that I think about it, actually if I'd just done a straight up switch, uh, it wouldn't have he'd come in before the Stealth Rocks. Although the Gyro Ball would have hit it, so I figured that was a safer move. Um, and so out goes my Ikea, my uh, Ch my Chandira, also known as Chandelure. But unfortunately, I'm like, wait, what the hell? What the what happened there? Why didn't he heal from the Healing Wish? And so Healing Wish apparently works differently in the game than it does in my um, Pokemon Online. So I have to actually research this because I really thought that it was supposed to heal on the Switch um, with the rocks and everything. But apparently since Ikea was at full health, it didn't do that. So anyway, on the Switch, I hit him with a Fire Blast, which is a lot more than I was expecting considering that I carry a Balloon, not a um, not a Choice Specs. Uh, anyway, I was pretty sure that I was foddering Ikea here, but I don't have any Steel types to take the hit. So um, I just left my sh a Chandelure in and I get KO'd. And it is what it is. Um, you know... I, w I was hoping that maybe this is the one Latios that I could have actually outrun, but no. So anyway, I go ahead and send out my Poop, who can hit him for super effective damage with Bug Buzz, um, but unfortunately he switches. I mean, he's doing smart moves, he's switching. I don't know if this would have been the best move, switching into Notori. Oh, I know, he told me that he had no idea what a Dentura was. Um, he said that this is, his, this is like his first battle since coming back to the scene and doing black and white battles. So um, keep that in mind. You know, my opponent is not an idiot. He's just a little new to this. Um, and he does pretty well for someone who's new to this. Um, so yeah, Bug Buzz is a whole lot of damage. Um, and with the defense drop, it's going to be a two-hit KO. And so I'm going to be able to take him out before he's able to set up with any more attacks or do something like Thunder Wave to me. So that was a really lucky stat drop, right when I needed it. So now my opponent goes ahead and switches in Jirachi and um, takes some minimal Stealth Rock damage. And I'm going to go ahead and pull back because I'm predicting a Fire Punch here. And I'm really sad that I don't have my Chandelure who could take that for a Fire, um, for a Flash Fire. Um, 
unfortunately, so yeah, my my poor Puff, my Magic Dragonite, um, unfortunately takes Stealth Rock damage, is ruining multi-scale, and I did not predict that correctly. Um, my opponent just used U-Turn on Jirachi, predicting the switch, and so Puff is not doing particularly well. And so now out comes Latios, and um, I'm just thinking, oh jeez, I can't use Dragon Claw against him, but then I remember, aha, I carry extreme speed, Latios doesn't have the best defense, so maybe, just maybe, I can take him out. And so indeed I try, and indeed I succeed. Booyah! I take out his Latios, and I don't have to worry about that thing anymore. I love Dragon, I, I just love it. I love it. So, um, Huff is not going to be doing too well if I switch him in. I don't have any recovery moves uh, with him. Um, because I had to sacrifice one if I wanted to do both Dragon Dance and Extreme Speed. So I go ahead and Dragon Claw to just try to get as much damage as I can before the obvious Ice Beam will KO me. So it is what it is, and it sucks. Um, and Puff is taken out by a 4x effective Ice Beam. So, but Puff did really well, took out the Dragon, and that's its purpose on the team. Puff is there as a Dragon Killer. So that is freaking awesome. So anyway, I go ahead and send Foom Pack out, um, because I can just thunder this thing to death, uh, I hope. Although my health is getting pretty low, I don't think I can afford to switch anymore. Um, and of course my opponent predicts the thunder, and goes ahead and switches into his special wall, Snorlax. And it's like, what, a, what the hell am I going to do against a Snorlax? Um, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I go ahead and use thunder, um, which does, it looks like it's going to be enough for a three hit KO. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just hoping I can kill this thing before it, you know, rests or what have you. So I go ahead and use Thunder again. Um, and I, as you're about to see, I'm going to get a bit of Lucky Parahax here. I'm going to get the Paralysis. But it's not going to do me any good because, you know, it's a Cursing Snorlax. I mean, what, you know, the only thing I can hope for is the 1 in 4 chance that um, he'll be too paralyzed to move. So that's what I'm hoping for at this point. Um, because, you know... It, it's not like Snorlax is speedy or anything, um, but I'm really, really hoping, based on the damage, it looks like I just might be able to 3 hit KO. Of course, my poop right now is at very low HP. Um, sorry, it's Galvantula, not Dentura, as I called it earlier. Um, so anyway, I thunder it again, and I'm hoping that it'll be enough, and unfortunately it's not. Snorlax survives with just enough HP to get a rest up, and I have 4 HP left, so on the next turn, when um, it's time for me to attack, life orb damage is going to kill me. And that sucks. Um, nothing I can do, really. Um, but yeah, Snorlax is now back to full health. It's gotten a curse off, and I don't know what I'm going to do against this guy. Because he's going to be just unstoppable. Um, so yeah, Thunder does not do that much. Um, yeah, now I can definitely see that it's not a 3-hit KO, um, but, you know, it must have just been a case of the first attack got max damage, and maybe that time got min damage, I don't know. Um, yeah, it seems to me like the damage range is a lot larger in, uh, level 100 battles than it is in level 50 like it was back in the PBR days. So anyway, I go ahead and switch in my fighting type, and I'm gonna go ahead and high jump kick and just hope that I can take this thing out before it wakes up, although I don't really have much luck because Snorlax has gotten off a curse. Although, wait, hey, look, look, I KO'd it. I really couldn't believe that this happened. I actually KO'd it, so that's totally awesome. Although, I'm down to two Pokemon, and he's got a whole bunch left, and so I really don't know what... I, I, I figure this battle's over. I'm sending him good game in the chat. I do not think I'm gonna win. So I go ahead and high jump kick, which is not enough to KO, although it does a lot more than I thought, and he goes ahead and iron heads me, and I'm figuring this is probably gonna be an O-code, because I'm pretty sure River, which is the name of my Man Shao, Man Shao, I don't know. Um, I hope, uh, you know, it's not very good defensively. Anyway, I get a useless crit on the next turn. I actually survive his attack, and so I'm doing pretty well. And so now he's down to his Suicune and one other Pokemon, um, which I know is coming, uh, and I have no idea. It's a Terrakion, and I have no idea how I'm going to kill it. Um, but I go ahead and high jump kick this Suicune, and it's not enough to take me out, of course, and so he's going to be able to take me out with a Surf. And that is that, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon, which if you've seen this team before in action, you know what that last Pokemon is, and you know that it's gotten out of some tough spots before. So, um, next out for me is my Abagora, also known, now known in English as Caracosta, and, but it doesn't have Sturdy. So, if Surf Oko's me, I have no defense. 
you know, I, I'm no, I have no defense from Noko. Um, so he goes ahead and surfs, and I'm just hoping I survive, and indeed I do, because HCHB, that's the name of my Karakasta, has pretty darn good defenses. So I get off the shell break, and now I'm going to be faster than him, and now I'm at plus two on all my attacking stats, um, so now I am really hoping that I'll be able to take him out, um, considering this weekend they're basically down to no HP. Um, so I'm just hoping and praying here that I'll be able to take a, take it out. Now I consider whether I want to do Rock Slide or Earthquake, um, and I decided to go for Earthquake because it's got 100% accuracy, even though I sacrificed a bit of power thanks to the fact that uh, HCHB is Rock type. So I do manage to take him out because it was a pretty low HP, and I had the plus one attack or plus two attack boost. Sorry, and so now he's down to his last Pokemon as well, which is Terrakion. And I don't think Terrakion has any priority moves, and I think I should be able to outspeed it. And Earthquake is super effective, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a one-hit KO, but I just don't know. I just really don't know. Um, and so here it comes. Here it comes. I'm holding my breath, and yes, yes, I KO this freaking. This is just awesome. I KO him. I win the match. And that was an awesome, awesome match. Good game, uh, Hazard Pokemon. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.